what's going on YouTube, it's your boy Wavy and we are back again with another video and today we are heading back down to Surrey Rolling Road to find out if installing the wedding cooler has increased the car's power by anything, if it's the same or if we've lost any power, da 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 da. So guys, stay lots and load this, this one. Guys, we're back down at Surrey Rolling Road. Charlie's in the hot seat. We're reversing the car in right now. We're going to get the car strapped up and hopefully we see some decent numbers. Hopefully gains up at least minimum 10 bhp. But we all know what happened last time. So stay tuned and let's hope, fingers crossed, we get some decent power. The thing is like it... Yeah, edition 30. The thing is when I change stuff on it, it always feels like it's faster. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's always falling off. <laughs> but I just want to just see if it increases any power just by bolting it on. Well, when I came back the second time when I put the track slag exhaust on, made no power. Nothing. Uh, it's a nice day for today. Yeah, nice. Good. Good day. Cold, crisp air. So that was my last. That was your last one. Yeah. Uh, 303.7. Three oh three point seven. Well, it's then fine. You get a bit more flow, but it, it, you'll find on hotter days the car will perform better because the intercooler is more efficient at cooling the engine. The standard one will be shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you might, you might have some tap. Fingers crossed. Let's see. <laughs> That surprised me, that is. <laughs> I can't complain now. Yeah, I can't can't complain. So the tune's all good. You haven't really got much torque, but you will expect that. So but that actual, out. yeah. I'm happy with that, pleased. <laughs> it's a good day out for me. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. <coughs> Indeed. So guys, we've gone down to Sai Rolling Road. We've done the runs and we come out with a big smile on our face. So guys, we've made 321, great horsepower. We haven't really increased the torque 
but everyone likes to hear about peak numbers, really waving and all of that, the big pop talk. We've got 321 just by adding on the bolt-on welly cooler. Now guys, um, the last two times I've been down to Sire Rolling Road, I made 304 brake. The first time I added on the revolt intake, 304 brake. The second time it was the addition of the full turbo back track slag exhaust. 304 brake but this time guys the inner cooler is where it's at bang for buck it's all in the pudding and it's made 321 brakes so let's just round it to a nice figure additional power that you can get from installing the welding cooler just the bolt on no map mapping aid sorry 20 brake horsepower now guys I've left Surrey Road and Road. The last time, I didn't even mention this guy. The last time I went Surrey Road and Road and the car made exactly the same power, even though I slapped on a track stag exhaust, I wasn't going to release the video because I thought, what is the point? But for the journey, for the YouTube, I've done it. And this time, guys, I'm pretty pleased with the result. Now, I'm not sure the next time I'm going to go down to Surrey Road and Road to find out what power the car's made because the next time, I will be getting any kind of power increase will be basically down to a map. So with that being said, um, you have to wait and see. But guys, I hope you like the video. Uh, we're going to wrap it up right now. Make sure that you like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. But until next time, guys, it's your boy Wavy and I'm out.